everyone, Joel Lance here. And today we are at Papa's and Beers. Yes, Papa's and Beers. It's not gonna get any better. In Greenville, South Carolina, here to do the Big Burrito Challenge. So this is a massive burrito. It's about five pounds, I've heard. Um, it is a wet burrito filled with everything, and that's pretty much all the details I know, so I'll get you some more specifics. You do have, I believe, 20 minutes to complete it, and if you win, you get a t-shirt. I believe you have to pay for the meal regardless. But anyway, so let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Should be good, so let's get going. So how about we get started? Definitely a very, very large burrito. This is uh, much bigger than I think the picture, but hey, it's all good. So how about we get started? We'll save the count of... Wow, we got, every, we got everything in here. Maybe I'll turn this around like this. All right, wow, is, this, is that zucchini? Zucchini. Zucchini too. All right, how about we get started? Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Hey, girl. It, is, it is quite hot, maybe I should have let it cool down a bit longer, but let's get this going. All right, I'm gonna try to probably eat everything out of the pita, because I think it's just gonna fall apart. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are doing a burrito challenge at Papa's and Beers. Hey, 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 get out of here, get out of here. All right guys, the real Joel Hansen is back, but yes, eating a burrito, and a very big burrito challenge, I will say it that. So this challenge apparently came out a lot bigger than it normally does, and a lot bigger than the picture. Our good friends Alex, his wife, and all, the, and all their good friends um, were here uh, hanging out and supporting us this day, and they were saying that usually it folds over. Like I said, this was very, very large. And a very interesting burrito challenge. I really do think they actually put absolutely everything in it that they had in the kitchen, like everything in the kitchen sink. I think the kitchen sink burrito is, you know, the, the, the name for it. As we had like everything from, you know, the traditional things like I'd say lettuce, tomatoes, refried beans, rice, but there's like zucchini and like ever like you know well I mean there's peppers in there that's not too 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 far-fetched I guess but like it was a very interesting burrito and like you know definitely a big one really it was uh, definitely very very sizable I'd say like six pounds. Not bad. So as we mentioned, you are paying for the burrito uh, regardless. It is a pay for play. However, if you actually complete it, you get a free t-shirt and then you are, well, I guess you also get the meal discounted or maybe that was just something they do occasionally. I I'm not really sure. Um, when we went into it, they said just like, hey, you would get a free t-shirt, but then somebody mentioned something about maybe a half off meal or specifically getting it for $14.99. So I'm not really sure where that, you know, where that was going into it uh, but nonetheless the nice thing with burrito challenges they are generally pretty easy to eat as a lot of it is kind of soft foods thank you it's about two and a half minutes in it's going pretty well but this is actually a pretty good burrito lots of stuff in it So the strategy for the burrito was to ultimately eat the innards first and then save the kind of the tortillas, or at least most of the tortillas for last, um, as I figured like, you know, that was kind of the harder um, part to eat. Uh, you know, whereas the, again, the soft foods, the more mixed insides were pretty good to go. I did have a large array of salsas there. However, I was finding it all quite moist. There was some um, like, I guess it was be like sour cream and uh, whatever in there. Plus again, just like the moisture from the cooked vegetables, the lettuce, um, and everything on the inside. Uh, for meats, we had half chicken and half uh, beef. Is this time? Yes. No, we have three minutes, 30 seconds. He's already only at three minutes, 30 no, more seconds. That's not good. He's got to get three minutes. He just did. He just did seven pounds down. Yeah. Seven pounds. Yeah. Seven pounds. Yeah. Seven pounds. Yeah. 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 Killing it. Seven pounds. Killing it. Yeah. Killing it. Yeah. Killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And they did classify this as a California burrito. Um, so yeah, but like, it was overall pretty solid, pretty straightforward. Again, it was cooked with lots of cheese on it as well on the tortilla. Um, again, as far as taste and flavor, it was pretty solid. Um, Papa's and Beers is a chain. So like, I would say like it was a chain level burrito, if that makes sense. 
Although I will, I am curious, let me know if you've ever been to a Papa's and Beers and comment down below because this is my first time seeing Papa's and Beers, at least in North America. And I knew there was a number around Greenville, but then there's a whole bunch of them in Mexico. <laughs> minutes in. This is the like the insides left. Then I have pretty much all the pitas. Definitely filling out this thing is very very large but we'll keep on truck and see what we can do. Woo! And the reputation of the ones in Mexico I think is a lot different than the ones around Greenville, I'll put it that way. The ones in Mexico are just known of like legit a place that you go to just get blackout like drunk. Like you go and they will pour liquor down your throat while you do a handstand, like that kind of a party scene. Um, whereas again, the ones here in Greenville, definitely not to that caliber. Definitely still, I'd say, you know, a nice happening place to casually have, you know, dinner and a beer. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of funny to hear and see the, again, I don't know if they're at all connected. Maybe they just happen to have the same names. But yeah, Papa's and Beer um, in Greenville. Apparently, at least in my experience, very different than what you might see in Mexico. Um, but yeah, besides that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, the burrito was uh, going to be $25 or maybe $15 if completed. Like it was, again, a bit of discrepancy plus a t-shirt at hand. Um, again, uh, look back at the picture at the beginning from the menu. Let me know if you think this burrito is bigger than the one um, on the picture. I'm just thinking about the weight of it. More, more weight, a bit more. I don't even know what it's supposed to wear. I've never seen it look like that. And I've, I've seen several of the challenges, but the picture looks small. But I believe that's pretty much all the information from here. Pretty straightforward. Like we said, a very large burrito challenge. Um, let's say, I, I think probably more like a good high five and a half let's say five and a half six pounds but again sometimes apparently they could be smaller um so that let you get to the rest of the video let's help me see what happens let's see if we can complete the challenge and let's get going
so close, bro. You were so close. I can smell that victory, bro. You're doing really great. And they actually made it way bigger than everyone was expecting. This thing, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the difference between what they gave and what it's supposed to look like. And he's still demolishing it. Yeah, he's doing good. So about 11 minutes in, a lot of people are getting through there, so almost finished. So 12 minutes, 45 seconds, just finished up. Um, so yeah, definitely a big burrito, a little bigger than I anticipated, but nonetheless, overall, it was pretty good. I had everything in there, they really did. Not only your beans, your rice, your, you know, sour cream, but they had chicken, they had steak, pretty much everything. Um, so with that, we do apparently get a sweet t-shirt, and I think we still have to pay for the meal, which is 25 bucks. But uh, yeah, pretty good, definitely a big challenge. This is a chain, so they have multiple locations. We're at the Greenville location today. But uh, that's about that, everybody. So then, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, say happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. Huge thanks to all our uh, South Carolina friends here, Alex and all that. Thanks for coming out, guys. Much appreciated. Until next time, happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.